Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on the channel of Savel Mash. It's Alexander Sudorov, as always, and today we'll speak about testing of angle grinders. In our last video, we showed you a comparative test, a spontaneous comparative test of speed of cutting of two angle grinders, a standard one produced by the company Interscol and the same standard angle grinder by Interscol with combined winding motor Slavyanka, an induction motor. Each future proprietor of such equipment will be able in his or her house or flat or garage to do the same testing, to cut a piece of piping and cut a piece of it measuring the speed. However, testing is done in different way. For that we need special conditions, special test beds and so on. Let's look at how testing is done in Soul Mash laboratory. In this test we use a loading node where there is a small loading machine with air cooling. And here we see that special fittings were elaborated and prepared especially for this testing. This is the angle grinder from Interschool, 2600 watt. How is it connected to the loading machine? First, a special transition sleeve is linked to a coupling, then the coupling is linked to a torque sensor, a strain sensor, and then there is another coupling, and then we get to the loading machine. Axes are aligned with special control tools, and then after this machine is launched, information is passed on to the test bed, which is in the neighboring room. What is interesting? While we were turning this video, we did not turn on neither the loading machine nor the angle grinder. Why? Because that would be so noisy that you wouldn't have heard me at all. Now specialists are having lunch and we are showing you how all of that works and what it will look like. This is actually preparation for the testing. Let's go look at the test bed. Everything we saw and we see is a test bed. In this room we see a gauging instrument where there are different metrological high precision tools. And we need to take into account that these components come from different producers. And in order to control all of that it was important to elaborate their own software, which allowed to control all of it and also to automate this process. This hardware software complex, which comprises a gauging instrument and a computer with software, gives us the opportunity to test objects, the objects to be tested quickly and in a reliable way, and to obtain all the properties, which allows us to have this base of documents. This is important to understand how motors work and also to have all the needed documents, to have this basis of documents. This is a complex process and at the same time, after all the work our specialists have performed, this process is actually easy. And in order to get all the details about the test to be done in the laboratory, watch our next videos and in one of them we will unveil the results we will get. See you soon!